Now in order to create models and parts in Tinkercad, you need to do what's called grouping. So for example, if I were to take this cylinder and actually embed it into my rectangle or kind of make them overlap, these are still two separate parts. They're touching and they're overlapping, but they are not a solid object. I need to actually select both the rectangle and the cylinder and then hit the group button to turn them into a solid object. So now they are one part, and if I were to 3D print these, they would print as a part. Now I can add additional objects to groups even after they're already grouped together. So for example, I can slide this wedge in here and then group all three of these shapes together by selecting all three and hitting the group key. So now this is another solid object. If I wanted to actually break apart the group, there is an ungroup button and it will break them apart in the order in which you group them. So because I group these in two separate functions, it will take two separate ungroup functions to separate them as three individual shapes.